Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, Andy at Sunco Scoots here. I uh, just thought I'd quickly show you the follow-up video from yesterday's post regarding these little pilchard rigs for dead and for macro. Uh, obviously they can be used for tailor as well. But... Alright, so I've got pilchard. Get a nice straight pilchard so it doesn't um, sit and spin in current or look unnatural to any fish passing by. Uh, so in here I've got a little three gram ball sinker on top of the flash. Obviously the flash is usual spec for me. It goes in the dark, it's got UV trim, it's got flash, it's got contrast, and it's got a little bit of red in there to represent blood gills. So I'm just going to take that, stick my hook just before the eyes, straight up through the middle, and out through the center. That pilchard's nose there, so it's got a nice, solid, secure hook point. And just going to pin my treble in there. Now there's no pressure between the treble and the toe point. So that's going to keep the pilchard straight. It's not going to put any additional pressure on that hook and rip it out of where it's supposed to be. Obviously, if it does come out, it's not the end of the world. It's not such a bad thing to have a trail and stinger, but the whole point in this rig with the weight is so when you're trawling idle, by idle, you know, you're talking half a knot against the current, that fish is going to sit slightly nose down and it's going to sit and waver. Rather than towing him, it's going to be up there or skipping along the surface and probably not got that many bites. Alternatively, got a little red float, um, sorry, red floats here. Um, that's just going to counteract that fish sitting up and hanging there. He's going to bring the nose down and he's going to sit and do what he needs to do to attract more bites. Anyway guys, uh, I hope that was useful. If you've got any questions or general chit chat, just give me a shout. I'm almost here. Cheers guys, have a good one. Bye.